Hello my friends from all over the world. All of you who are struggling to recover from stroke, I wish to throw some light for you on lesion, on cerebellar switch off and spasticity as understood in Vasa concept. I wish to bring it to your knowledge that for over a century patients of stroke are struggling to get back to pre-morbid state. I wish to put a full stop to the suffering of stroke patients of the world and put them on the road to true recovery to reach to pre-morbid state so that they do not have to suffer as the ex-American president Woodrow Wilson did who suffered his stroke in 1919 and Senator Mark Kirk who had a stroke in 2012. Most patients have useless spastic arm and hand hugging the abdomen or chest. They need to support, they need support to stand, to walk and to climb stairs. It is needless to say that despite best treatment, patients end up as disabled, dependent and handicapped. It was hard for me to understand why in this 21st century, after spending huge amount of money in gait training for hours and hours, patients land up being disabled and ambulate in wheelchair. I became restless to find out what makes a small lesion in the big hemisphere capable of making patient dependent and handicapped. We all know that lesion and loss of neurons is irreversible damage and the dysregulation that happens because of the lesion which is considered permanent. This made me think is lesion and dysregulation thereof is misunderstood by any chance. We know that symptoms that follow are mostly similar despite different location of lesion. We also know that dead neurons cannot act anymore. Then how Lesion can be responsible for complex symptoms. Neurologists focus on diagnosis of the lesion and physiotherapists focus on the paretic muscles. Though both do their level best, but patient ends up with useless arm, walking difficulties, disability and handicap. I could not accept this at all when I put myself in the shoes of the patient. Doctors told patients that they should be happy that they have survived and it takes time to recover from stroke. Therapists tell the patient he should be happy that he is learning to move again and he can function once again and it takes time for the paretic body to recover. All these statements makes the patient to accept the problem as inevitable. But I was not ready to accept that poor quality of life with disability, handicap and dependency for my patients for the rest of their life. I thought very deeply about complex problems like invariant synergic grouping and spasticity 
end contracture, etc. And I wondered why all stroke patients have similar symptoms when the lesion in their brain might be at different locations. I wanted to find solution so that future stroke patient does not need to suffer as the stroke victim of today and of yesteryears. I began to think and ask myself, is the lesion overrated? How can a small lesion in big hemisphere be responsible for paresis and flaccidity on one entire side of the body? Why is it not equivalent to the size of the lesion? Is pyramidal tract disruption or damage exclusively responsible for loss of voluntary control or is loss of voluntary control also possible due to paresis and flaccidity with inability to move. I began my journey to find the solution for stroke patients. I thought that somewhere we are goofing to understand brain following lesion. I wondered, is it our belief about lesion and loss of neurons being irreversible makes us think that following stroke, when brain is dysregulated, it is difficult to regulate it again and therefore stroke is a stroke for lifetime. I realized that lesion and loss of neurons is overrated. I thought, is it possible that lesion might be simply a catalyst seen on CT and MRI and something more implicit might be responsible why complex symptoms like hypotonia on one entire side of the body, sensory motor loss, perception and cognition problems, aphasia, apraxia, ataxia, memory loss, balance and loading issues, coordination problems, oculomotor problem, dysdiadocokinesia, facial asymmetry, diakesis are from some implicit source. If this implicit, implicit source can be made explicit, it might be possible to find solution.